I help you? Another thing. Great. I love those. Yes. steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. You immediately feel drawn to the color. Blue is for mystery. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Old cobalt paint, rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since this was painted maybe. The door does not budge. The door stands silent, unmoved by your words. Just a moment. She's agitated, judging from the way she keeps pulling at the frayed edge of her blanket. And there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. I'm glad to see you again, dear. Oh, please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead too. The manager was vague about it. Why would he be vague about phone problems? This is something to look into later. To let the young woman who's house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and our friend Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night, but they're still missing, and I haven't heard from them. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. A little missing persons puzzle might just be the thing to take your mind off the hangover. Of course, sweetie. I'm probably working myself up over nothing anyway. I I'll be right here. Oh, hello, dear. I didn't notice you at first. That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. But you have more important things to worry about. More important than a missing expedition? I don't know. Expeditions often lead to something interesting. Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. What could be keeping them? The water lock. That was broken. Could this be it? Oh, sweetie. It's nothing like that. Gary's as loyal as they come. I trust him with my husband's life any day. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? Oh, sweetie. If it weren't for you, I'd be looking forward to another sleepless night. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Listen, sweetie, I hate to ask, but if your investigation happens to take you to the other side of the coast, 
Please do keep an eye out for my husband. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. Yes, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, yes. A zoologist. A crypto-zoologist, to be more precise. It's really just a subfield of zoology, one specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. And frankly, many scientists are too lazy to do it. Universities these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. She's completely internalized her husband's struggles. They are her own. Oh dear, I'm not sure where to begin. Hmm, well, his expression is slightly grumpy, but his eyes are always bright and curious like a small boy's. And his palms are quite coarse from all the field work, but he's quite gentle. You can't go around forever short sure feeling grown men's hands. If you want to find her husband, you'll need more concrete information. It's always a challenge to describe the person you know best in the world. Oh, well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame. And he has longish white hair. Usually a bit uncombed. You might say wild, even. One other thing. He'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him. Even if he's not out in the reeds. You know, just in case. We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary this autumn. Not the most numerically satisfying anniversary, but I like the less obvious milestones even more somehow by a dating agency, I'm ashamed to say. I was looking to get back into the scene after recovering from my accident, and he just divorced. We hit it off, and well, here we are. She's skipping over some important parts. Perhaps you'll find out more later. I hope I've been useful. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. But I shouldn't bore you with entomological minutiae. She was about to launch it to an impassioned description, but stop at herself. Why is that? Well, it's a phasmid, technically, but... Ah yes, Phasmatodia, a diverse group of insects whose bodies resemble twigs, leaves, that sort of thing. Ghost insects, colloquially. Oh yeah, here comes the interesting. Where other Phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the Insulindian coast. Hence, it's named the Insulindian Phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up co-discovering it with us, officer. There's a touch of awe in the way she enunciates the creature's name. Well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. They, they didn't know what it was, of course, but there was a brief article in a local newspaper about their encounter with a ghost insect that looks like the reeds. Gary sent us the clipping. 
Of course, most phasmid sightings turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the Insul Indian phasmid perfectly, and they didn't even know what they were looking at. Enthusiasm has wiped the worry from her face. Her eyes sparkle behind her glasses. I suppose I have something of a personal connection to the Insul Indian phasmid. All scientists have their little hobby horses. <laughs> Not at all. Why else would it hide itself so carefully? Oh, I doubt it. No one gets into cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. Yes, it can blend in almost perfectly among the reeds. It's how it stayed hidden all these years. Centuries, even. Oh, dear. I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. It is very special. Morel can explain it all much better. I wish you could hear him describe it. Then you'd understand, I'm sure. Oh, hello, dear. There you are again. You're an enthusiastic idiot, but you're still an idiot. Sorry, sweetie. I, I can't get into that just now. Gart did say he could deliver a telegram for me earlier, and I should really notify our house sitter about our delay. Oh no, she's making excuses. You're not interested enough to talk cryptids with. Can I help you? Another thing, great. I love those. Yes, and the phone company is taking its sweet time sending someone to fix it. Losers. It's not strange, it's inconvenient. Who told you that? Fine, yeah, it looked like someone had messed with the wiring. It was shortly after the hanging, but I don't know if it's at all related. Plenty of arseholes around here who aren't murderers. If you do find out who cut the line, though, let me know so I can forward them the repair bill. Oh, yes, that door, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just a frit warehouse, probably. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. 
fine, okay, a little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Yes? You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. The tire tracks were left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message, written in the language of burnt rubber. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there, and then accelerated straight into the fence left a hole big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry, according to the cafeteria manager. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. Before heading south, must have been in a hurry. Maybe, probably, an ominous warning of bad things ahead. Eagle. Pig's in Kuno's debt now. Money debt? Money debt doesn't mean anything. He's just saying words. You're not in his debt. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Crumpled billboard reading, Samaran butter soaks in the canal. Two ugly lines mark the bright countenance of the blonde boy depicted. The sign billboard has fallen on the waterlock, keeping it open and thus out of order. Judging by the size of the impact and the parallel lines of burnt rubber, the cause was probably a motor vehicle. These look like the same tire tracks I saw earlier in front of the whirling rags. Side slip marks indicated that the vehicle was traveling up the crater at 35 kilometers an hour. The black marks on the roof indicate that the vehicle vaulted from the crater to the roof of the shack. 
The panel served as a takeoff ramp. The vehicle soared through the air, hitting the billboard and upsetting the posts. Then it continued its flight, taking the billboard with it. The sign broke the vehicle's fall into the canal. The Samarin Butter billboard still looks freshly painted, suggesting it took the plunge recently. Within the past 72 hours. Still speeding, the vehicle made a loop and vanished into the fog along the coast. There are two good candidates, the Cuprise 40 and the Linear G22. It's about the right size, and the tire marks look like they came from the skinny tires frequently found on that motor carriage. The Caprice 40 is a very popular model, with bank clerks, topping pie delivery drivers, secondary school teachers, cops, strippers dressed as cops, undressed strippers. Very sturdy but light motor carriage. More likely than most to survive that jump. The Linear G22 is not a particularly popular model due to its peculiar proportions, which the manufacturer's design team probably thought about for too long. You'd have to follow the tracks to be sure. Whoa, what have we here? A bridge with loose nails and rot-infested wood that creaks in the wind. A construction code violation if there ever was one. Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. Because you see it, finally. This wall is sublime. Look at it. The shadows. The colors. All the other walls on all the other houses must make a pilgrimage in adoration of this, the uncontested pinnacle of Warcraft, color peeled from the very face of God. O oh, Wallfather! Absolutely, now you just need the materials. Cindy the Scum has a paintbrush and a paint. Talk to her. Yes, great thinking. Go talk to her. The wall will be waiting. This must be it. The basement door is weather-worn. The copper nails holding the upholstery in place have turned green from sea air, and there's a knocker shaped like a lion's head. This must be the door Everard mentioned. You still need to get the key from Anyana first, though.
You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. The walking stops abruptly, but no one comes to the door. You can feel tension on the other side. Sounded like a woman. A woman's shoes. A poor communard from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than a closet. Do I have to open the door? Do you have a warrant? I'm not obligated to open the door if you don't have a warrant. Later then, entering this door seems a physical challenge. It's generally easier to do things if you have literally any reason. Give me a moment. Ask away, policeman. No one lives there. It's been empty for months. Impossible. I would know if someone had moved in there. Maybe it's those countercultural people again. Breaking into a house like it's a public space. You're a policeman. Be good and take a look, will you? Great. Young people. They're worse than rats. You know, always littering the hallways with trinkets and empty beer cans. She mumbles some kind of a response, then hacks something into her handkerchief. You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. Excuse me? Of course not. You have plenty of reason to enter. Oh, come on. Well, that was easy. Satisfied? My name is Marielle Charpentier, and I'm an agent with Martinez Realty Associates. I am not breaking in, as I have every right to be here. The keys, see? Boy, there are a lot of different keys there. More than 20, at least. Her voice is really cheerful, despite her obviously hating you. Do you want to see my ID as well? You can't legally ask for it, but why not? Want to see my residence permit, too? It feels flimsy in hand, with the words Revachol Zone of Control, written under a nondescript municipal logo. There's a picture of her with shorter hair inside, along with all her personal details. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I need to be back in Midtown in an hour. I need to get it ready for the next lease, but as you can see, the previous tenant completely trashed the place. Ha! Huh. Sounds like you've spent too much time undercover in some rock band. It's not a compliment. It was some kind of a moribund old man who used to be a business owner. You'd think they'd make rent. A sudden serious look crosses her face. This story didn't have a happy ending. But that was months ago. Anyway, was there anything you wanted or is that it? I'm in a hurry. It is. Everyone says the real estate agents don't do anything. But here I am in the middle of the night cleaning up someone's crash pad. So, the sooner we get this over with, the better. Oh, that's another huge mess. The former tenant owes us three months of rent. Three. We closed the apartment and planned on auctioning off the valuables, but... 
And again, I have no idea how stupid mistakes like this can even happen. But Ron, when he came to close the door, didn't close the neighboring door. And there's a hole in the wall. A hole in the wall. Can you believe it? And then the tenant ran off with his stuff. He's gone. The money's gone. Just like that. The sum must have been puny. Oh, it irks her. The incompetence. Well, it does not disappear from my hands. No, I don't let it. These apartments are perfectly fine. They have gorgeous architecture, a million real view of the bay, good ventilation, neighbors, life, spark, and they are affordable. I'll tell you, Martinez has a future. In a few years, it's going to blossom with artists and creatives and those radio computer wizards. It's as if they're real wizards, able to resurrect dead real estate and breathe life into bank accounts. Don't ask me what happened with the wall. I have no idea how we're going to find the time or resources to fix it. Both apartments are now unrentable. Both. Of course. Give me a moment. I see. I hope some good people are finally going to move in. This place needs them. Oh, I do like wizards, and people like that in general. They have a lot to tell us about our fates. She means clairvoyance. Master Investigator, you just can't keep yourself away from locked and hidden places, can you? Nothing, nothing. You're right. Get in there. Deep. Invade every personal space. Break every lock. And yes, that's what it is. A quick peek here. A short glance there. It's all quite delectable.
Mmm, the luxury of fine things. Just look at those black monk straps. After spending an entire day hustling, who's to say that you didn't deserve a pair of ridiculously expensive shoes on your tired feet? Beautiful things give you a rush. It's power. Crafting your style, draping your flesh in silk and leather, deciding how to present yourself to the world. Remember, when they come to take it away from you, you worked for those shoes. Whether you like it or not, wearing these shoes has made you more liberal. Ultra-liberal. They're either a gateway drug or a booster pack to get you deeper into free market ideology. What happened here? It will still be accessible through the apartment next to it. That one didn't have a door. Sadly, nothing of great value remains here. Indeed, 